Hey, it's Daniel with Bonanza, and today we're going to do some more experimenting. We're going to experiment with our water clear uh, knife grade glue by Wood and Stone, or AKA Axon. It's a quick drying water crystal clear glue that uses a liquid hardener and most commonly used on white Carrera marble or any white or translucent stones. Um, today we're going to do a little experimenting. Uh, very often people tell us that glues like this leave a black seam on the material and they prevent the black seam by sealing the material beforehand. So we have a sample right here that's been sealed. We have a sample right here that has not been sealed. And we have also another sample here not sealed. So what we're going to do is actually this one we're going to glue without any pigment. This one we're going to glue with pigment and with pigment and we shall see what happens. So we're back here with uh, the water clear. I popped off the lid so everyone can see the consistency and the look of the material. One of the biggest questions we get is how does this material look once it's dried? So in this particular situation we're going to use this glue without any um, pigments in it and to see if it, how it dries. I know that the liquid uh, product dries crystal clear and we're all very curious about how this will dry. The recommended um, hardener amount is about 2%. If you read the instructions, it'll say mix 50 grams of filler, which this is the filler, with 35 to 50 drops, which is about a gram. So that comes out to about 2%. So we just realized that the, uh, the liquid hardener actually has a solid top, so you'll never lose any through uh, evaporation and we just popped a hole in it and then recommended amount is about two percent so we'll add a few drops maybe another drop for good luck and uh, mix that up and obviously you want a good good mix because you don't have much hardener in there so you want to mix it thoroughly now apparently most of these glues take overnight to dry whereas the one by Axon the quick dry will take about 30 minutes apparently per the instructions. Normally, this, these two pieces have been cleaned with acetone and normally you would roughen up the surface and clamp it. Uh, in our case, we're just experimenting and we're going to just push it together by hand and let it dry. like so. So now we're going to try the water clear with the with some pigment and no sealer on the surface to see how that affects the stone if it does create this black line that some people claim to have in the stone. Uh, you can use a regular polyester pigment. Um, we're not dealing with an epoxy. So thoroughly mix the pigment through. This is a reactive pigment, so it's a polyester based pigment, not a water based pigment like some of the others that are out there. And it mix, it doesn't dilute or weaken the strength of the stone because it is polyester based. Very often people will use um, the pigments that are designed for paints which are water based easy to clean but not very good for the glue itself and again 
adding about 2%. Thank goodness for gloves. And we'll let this dry for about half an hour and see where it goes. Hey, it's Daniel with Bonanza again. Um, it's been more than 24 hours and we've let our samples of solid clear glue dry. The manufacturer's instructions suggest that curing takes place within half an hour. Um, in our case, I would say it took more like 12 hours. Maybe because we didn't add as much hardener as most people do, but of course the faster the curing time, probably the lower the integrity of the bond. Um, these seem incredibly strong. I just took a diamond blade and roughed them up and grinded this particular product. This one was the sample that we had sealed with uh, some Stone Tech sealer and there is no seeping of, uh, like some people complain about black lines coming through. Um, and well, for that matter, neither does this one that did not have sealer. Um, if you look at them side by side, they're pretty much match. One of the, the um, you can see also where I grinded, none of the glue popped out. Some of the uh, lower grade glues, polyester resins, the glue pops out as you grind it, which reveals that it's really not what the kind of product that you want. Very often, what happens when people pop, uh, when, when the glue pops out, it requires more work because you have to come back and reapply and regrind. Now, another thing that people wanted to know was how does the sealer, uh, how does the glue look after it's been dried with no pigment added? So it really doesn't look good. Obviously you can see it doesn't dry clear um, like some crystal clear glues dry. It's more of a milky consistency, which is okay because uh, most people color their glues anyway, but it certainly could not be used for filling uh, chips or holes or cracks because you do want something crystal clear or something that you can, you can uh, uh, pigment. So uh, here we are. Um, we did three tests with the solid clear glue. I do recommend a 12 hours drying time. We will try with uh, additional harder hardener, um, but I think that the more hardener you, uh, you put in and the faster that it dries, you'll have a weaker bond. These are very strong bonds and um, um, at least now we have uh, answers to some of the questions that customers have been asking us. So I'm signing off. Until next time, thank you very much.